As you know already, to install Microsoft's latest Windows 11, you have to enable UEFI BIOS and Secure Boot. In this video, we are going to find out how to check if UEFI and Secure Boot are enabled or not and how to change BIOS settings from Legacy to UEFI and enable Secure Boot. First of all your motherboard must be supported for UEFI and Secure Boot. Unless you can't enable them. Let's check they are enabled or not. Press Windows key plus R. Then type MSINFO32 and press Enter. In the System Summary section find the BIOS mode. You can see my BIOS mode is Legacy. If your BIOS is UEFI then here it will be UEFI. Then you don't want to do any changes regarding UEFI. Then find the Secure Boot state. If your Secure Boot is enabled then you can see it here. If that's the case same as UEFI you are all set and don't want to do any change. I'm not using a Secure Boot supported motherboard, so it says unsupported. If your UEFI or Secure Boot is not enabled then you have to change them from the BIOS settings. To do that turn off your computer and boot to BIOS settings. You know you can enter BIOS settings by pressing F2 or other relevant key during the boot. After here I can't give you the exact steps because the navigations varies on the model of the motherboard. Most of the time these settings are in the boot options or in the security options. Try to find them and change the BIOS mode to UEFI and enable secure boot. Some computers have separate option to disable legacy mode. If it's available then disable it. Now save and restart the computer. Now again check with the method I mentioned before. I have created another video about how to enable TPM 2.0 for Windows 11. I will put the link to that video in the description. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. I'm hoping to do a video series about Windows 11 new features when I get the update. Comment your ideas in the comment section and thank you for watching.